It's almost Christmas time, which is my favorite time of the year, and I thought it would be nice to share some gift ideas for artists, being an artist myself. I try to include a broad variety of products on my list that can work very well for different types of artists. So either you are a beginner or a professional artist, or you have an artist friend or relative, I'm sure you'll find something in this video that suits your needs. So let's start with the art supplies. You never get wrong with a good sketchbook, it's like the most universal simple thing that makes an artist happy. There are a few things that I take into consideration when it comes to choosing a sketchbook, the first one being the thickness of the paper. I try to stay between 100 and 250 GSM so the paper can work with different media and can take a lot of erasures. The first two sketchbooks are more on a low budget because the paper is not so thick, so it can't take very well the water-based media, but you can use them for your drawings with graphite, pens, ink pens and color pencils. I used to use this Canson sketchbook for all my studies, especially anatomy studies and figure drawing, while the Thailand one for more finished and color drawings. Also this one has a yellowish tinted paper, which you may not like, so be aware of that. These other two sketchbooks have a higher price, but they're suitable for mixed media and especially for watercolors. My favorite one is this Trotmore soft cover sketchbook that I discovered a few months ago and I really love the smooth paper and how the paintings look on it. The other thing I like about it is that I can get the paper to lay down very well and I can also paint on both sides because it doesn't buckle so much and it doesn't bleed. This sketchbook is a very unique one because you can choose among different covers made by different great artists such as Sibeline, Aikala, Iraville and so on and you can even put your name on it. You can also choose among different types of paper such as mixed media or 100% cotton which is the best one for watercolors. Personally I haven't started painting on it yet because I want to finish this Stratmore sketchbook first but I've seen a lot of artists using it and the quality of the paper is very good. I think this sketchbook is the best when it comes to gifts because of the customizable features and I'm sure every artist would love to have one of these. As for the watercolors, I decided to include this Kuretake set that is suitable for both beginners and artists in general that want to try something different. It has this elegant matcha green box, perfect for gift giving, and it also has a unique color selection different from the typical watercolor brands. You can find different sets on Amazon with more or less colors, but since the pens are larger than the typical ones, the box can take up a lot of space on your desk. I've recently done a video about it. I'll let you the link on the screen if you want to have more information about these colors. The color wheel is a must for all artists, but not many artists have it. So if your artist friend or you don't have it, then you've just found a great and cheap gift idea. I mainly use this side when deciding the color combination for my paintings. I usually identify the main color, let's say I have to use this green-blue, then I decide whether to go for the complementary colors, or for the triangular combination, or for the rectangular one, and so on. So this wheel really helps you to choose faster your color combinations. So regarding the color palettes, I also have a book recommendation for you. This book from Ana Victoria Calderon contains a bunch of appealing color combinations for different moods and subjects. It also shows how you can find inspiration in photos, nature, cities, fabric patterns and old paintings. So if you ever run out of ideas, you just open this book and let you inspired by one of these beautiful palettes and paintings. Another book that goes very well with the sketchbook idea is this one from 3D Publishing. You'll find 8 artists who talk about how they keep a sketch journal and how they manage to paint in it at home or outside. It also includes tips and ideas for your sketchbook and in general a lot of inspiration. For those who really want to better understand color and light, this book is a must-have. James Garnier shows a lot of his paintings while examining the various sources of light, the properties of pigments and paints, and how to choose colors for given pictures. So it has a lot of information. Another book that all artists should have is a book about art fundamentals, this being color, light, composition, perspective and anatomy. Either you are a beginner or a professional artist, coming back to these basic concepts will help you improve your art. If you want to become a children's book illustrator or if your artist friend does, then this is a nice book to have. It contains useful information on the technical jargon, the character design based on different age and culture ranges, as well as behind the scenes of 8 different artists' work. Also, the quality of the print is insane.
As artists and creatives, we need a planner to keep track of our activities and goals. The Maker's Earbook is especially designed for us and it contains a specific method to develop three very simple habits. In fact, you'll find only three empty spaces in each single day. I was a bit skeptical about this method at the beginning, but choosing the three most important tasks per day forces you to cut through that enormous to-do list. Also, for each month you have to decide what you want to accomplish during that month and every week you keep track of that specific goal so you won't be distracted by other things. For journal lovers, you can choose some unique ones from Notebook Therapy. They have beautiful covers and very good quality paper. I decided to buy one of these for the next year so I can start my very first bullet journal and build my own planning method. Who doesn't use washi tapes and stickers? As a traditional artist, I use the washi tapes a lot, especially for fixing the paper to the table or for keeping the edges blank. Now that I intend to do bullet journaling, I use washi tape to decorate some pages and in general you can use it for crafting and also for wrapping the gifts. Stickers are also used for decorating the planners, the sketchbook covers and so on. A lot of artists on Instagram are selling their own sticker sets, so if you have a favorite artist or if your friend loves a specific artist or type of art, you can find the perfect match stickers. Also, these products usually have a low price, so you can combine them with other products in this list or you can just give them as they are, depending on your budget. A product that can really make the difference for a traditional artist is this wooden organizer for pencils. Now I don't have all my pencils in their boxes all over the studio anymore, but I can finally have them together and sort them by brand and color. The price is not extremely high and you can also find it with two or four drawers depending on your needs. Talking about pencils, there's also a low cost solution for organizing them and that is the roll up pencil cases. You can find a lot of handmade cases with beautiful patterns and you can also use them to bring your pencils with you in your bag. Also, if you work with pencils, you definitely need a mechanical sharpener. For me, it was a game changer. I've had this sharpener for a year now and it literally made my life easier. It also costs very little compared to other brands and has never broken a tip. So yeah, I'd love to receive it as a Christmas gift. You may have noticed that I didn't include a lot of art brands and media in this list and this is because each artist has its own tastes and favorite brands and I wanted to keep my list as universal as possible. But I have a last big suggestion for you and that is the Mastery Art Kits. If you don't know the Mastery shop then you should take a look at the link in the description because you'll be amazed by the things they're producing in collaboration with some great artists. Among these products you can find the art kits such as the Sibylline gouache kit that I bought a few years ago, the Iraville watercolor kit and so on. Each kit contains not only the art supplies suggested by the artist, but also an empty sketchbook like the one I showed you at the beginning, some art prints and stickers and a practice kit book where you can follow the painting process suggested by the artist herself. So the price is a bit high, but because of all these supplies it's worth it. So these are my art gift ideas for this Christmas 2022. I hope you found something interesting in this list and as usual I let you all the links in the description box. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!